What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. Before we get started with today's video, whoa, I just saved my damn phone. All right, I think we're good. Before we get started with today's video, I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas Eve or a Merry Christmas Day, depending on when you guys are watching it. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video because I know it's it's a holiday. You guys are sitting here watching my video, so I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys are out today with your family, please be safe. Don't drink and drive. If you're going to drink, make sure you got somebody sober to drive you around, please. Also want to give a huge thanks to anyone that bought my last drop, or even if you thought about buying it, thank you guys so much. If you guys want to purchase something, the link is in the description. It'll be the top link. For reals, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support this year. Can't wait to see what else we have in store for 2024. And I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. I can't wait to keep making these videos for you guys. And let's get into this video, baby. We got some food to cook, and I'm hungry. Vamanos! What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. We're starting the day off in some rain. Driving back down right now, we're actually on a mission to go pick up a light for my trailer because the side light that I have underneath my trailer, it's, it just fell off. I was driving the other day, and when I went to go open my, my trailer doors, I noticed that it was missing. So I was like, hey, yo, hey, yo, I need a new light. Are the scales closed? And, woo, scales are closed, baby. That is, it is not as a wet of a season as, as it was last year because, well, this year actually, the beginning of the year, it ruined a lot of things. Work usually starts around May. That's when it starts to get busy. April, May. This time it didn't start until mid June. So all the rain that we got, it was a blessing, but it was a huge, huge setback for a lot of uh, packing houses and stuff like that. Rain's good, but too much is bad. So today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be cooking a smash patty or a smash burger in the back of my semi truck. It's Christmas Eve. It's 2.37. Um, I got until midnight until I can start driving again. Um, so in the meanwhile, we're going to relax, make ourselves a little Christmas Eve dinner in the truck by ourselves. And then we're going to also be watching some movies and just relaxing in here. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks and get ready to get hungry because these smash patties are gonna be fire, bro. This is my first time actually making them too. Making these and I got a, um, a cast iron skillet because I know that it's the best way to make them. Got the bread right here, some provolone cheese. Man, sometimes I just, when I'm sitting here realizing that I'm like in this truck by myself on Christmas Eve, it makes me really, sometimes I get emotional, but I do everything that I do for my kids. It's all good, baby. Life's all about making sacrifices. But hey, nothing beats making a smash patty in the back of your truck, right, while watching some Netflix. 
Why the heck does my TV keep turning off? Damn, ow. Sometimes I think about quitting trucking and just becoming a professional chef. On. Look at that. The moment of truth. First bite into my first ever smash burger in the back of my truck. And that was pretty quick. I made that in like 10 minutes. Let's try it. That is honestly <clears throat> the best freaking burger I've ever had. Oh my. Michael's gonna be taking applications really soon as I'm about to become a professional chef. That is the best burger I've ever had in my life. The stuff I get to do at my job. This looks interesting. It looks about a murder case within a family itself. I love these kind 